I guess thumbs me up if you can hear me. Hmm. I'm not sure how to tell if you can hear me. Oh, there. Oh, hey, Kim. How are you today? I'm glad you found my stream. I'm still trying to, I hope you can hear me. I hope I'm not talking to myself. I was waiting for Carrie to give me a thumbs up. Oh, all right. I see you. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going on with Teresa. I haven't heard from her in a while. Um, I myself just got back from um, my spring break vacation. And so um, I just decided to go ahead and I would put this up this week. And hopefully we'll all hear from Teresa again really soon. Uh, we are doing the festivals and fireworks so along. It was a Pat Sloan so along after it was a fat quarter shop so along. So the fat quarter shop so along free pattern is for triangles on a roll for the paper piecing. And then um, Pat Sloan did a version so that if you wanted to use AccuQuilt or standard piecing, she would give you those measurements. So this is block five and it is a sawtooth saw. You need uh, you need your, they're not accent fabrics, what I want to call them, your focus fabrics. So you need your focus fabric. So I'm going to do one that's going to be in this yellow. And then I'm going to do one that is in the gray background. Sorry, because I've never, ever done this on this, so I don't know how to hold things correctly. And then you're going to need your background fabric. Mine um, is a white on white print. And then in the directions that you print off, uh, Pat's method is to just do the two at a time. So... She tells you to cut four and a half inch squares, sew on the diagonal, and then cut that cut on the diagonal, and you will get your two half square triangles. Um, but I'm going to do four at a time. So uh, I cut my squares um, at six inches because I got scared when I saw the the math said that you could cut a five and a half inch square. But um, when I did the friendship squares last time, they were like exact, exact. And so I was really nervous about using that five and a half inch. So I cut six inch squares. I probably could have gotten away with maybe the five and three quarters, but you just trim them down and, and it's fine. So when you do four at a time, <laughs> Let's see how bendy I can be. When you do four at a time, then, you know, you, in, so I've got my two points going right there. You, you sew your four, your four, you sew your four sides. Yeah. Four sides on a square. It's basic geometry. You're going to sew on each side all the way around the perimeter. And then you are going to cut on the diagonals and trim up instead of where you just sew on either side of the diagonal and cut down the middle for the two at a times. I don't know if that makes any sense. I hope so. 
all two of us are going to do this today. Oh, wait, uh, four of us. Oh, my gosh. I feel like I'm, you know, a movie star. Remind everybody what fabric collection you're using. I, it's, it's delightful. It's called delightful. Um, I've had it for a while. So, um, I was thinking that when I get my quilt done, I might call it, um, blue skies, depending on how blue it looks. We'll see. I've been doing a lot of yellow lately. Okay, so test run. I always like to, you know, sew down one side without any thread, just, you know, for fun. Let me actually put my thread in my needle and that'll be helpful. Oh, Kim, I didn't see your comment about my hair. Thank you so much. I grew it myself. Carrie loves when I tell that joke. Hello, Susan. Hello, Beverly. Yeah, exactly, Kim. I mean, <laughs> it does seem like something a professional would do before she hit the go live button, but you know. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I don't know why it keeps coming unthreaded, though. That's kind of weird. It's never done that before. that cold when we got back. I mean, 50s, not like the glorious 70s that we had in Texas, but not subarctic either. That's right. You live in the north part of Iowa, so maybe it is colder up there. I hope. 
hope we're not going to get cold again because I brought home all of the uh, loner hats and mittens to wash. And uh, since I was out of state, they obviously didn't get washed. So it's going to be hard to bundle up without hats and mittens. Okay, so I probably see it better on this side. So after you sew all along your perimeter, you are just going to cut corner to corner to get your four triangles. Ugh. Hi, Candace. Thanks for joining us today. I, I think Susan was doing this project. W weren't you, Susan? Um, I wasn't sure if anybody else had joined in for sure. Um, Okay, so I have my four triangles now. And I'm going to trim those down to three and a half inches. So they're three and a half inches unfinished. And then they'll be three inches in the block. And... I'm going to use my, oh, I never know what it's called, my Clearly Perfect Slotted Trimmer. I just call it my half square trimmer, but um, it's kind of, it's nice. You don't have to open up those triangles when you trim. So you find the dotted line that is your measurement. You put that on the seam line. And then you trim the two sides. And then they have these slots that you can trim off the dog ears so that when you press them open, then you just have the square, the, fin the square. So I am going to trim these down to three and a half inches. Oh, nope. Susan is not sewing with us. Carrie's on the road. I got to stand up to do the trimming, guys. Sorry. Thank you. 
Susan, um, have you heard from Teresa this week? I saw that you had done a live with her a couple weeks back. Those puppies trimmed up. Uh, oh, you love my shirt, Carrie G. I wonder if anybody I know has one like it. I am I am super sweet, but I uh, might have to put you in timeout if you become a problem. Just saying. Okay, so I'm gonna press all of my squares. Uh, I'm gonna press them open actually because um, I haven't really worked out how they fall when you put the block together. Um, I'm not sure. I, I I don't don't think Pat really said. So I'm gonna do mine open. I did that with my other big star just to make sure that they all fit together nicely. I know a lot of people don't like to do open, and I don't generally. But when I have like a bunch of seams and I don't know how they're gonna fall, sometimes that's how I end up doing it. And I use uh, my Acorn Easy Press Pen to help me so that those will all be flat. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Beverly. Um,
Hi, so Terry. Glad you could join us. Are you sewing with us too or just hanging out today? And so I'm I'm just following the diagram. I'm building my points first. <laughs> I have this sinking feeling. All right, so now I have all my legs. In my lighting, it's kind of hard to see uh, the right side of that white on white. I am unthreaded again. Interesting. It's just hanging out. Well, that's great. What have you been doing with your weekend, so Terry? Oh, um. Uh, my design wall is a DIY project that uh, Carrie and I did, I don't know, a thousand years ago, roughly. And so it's just, um, it's that insulation styrofoam. And then I just uh, duct taped it together, covered it with a piece of batting, and then glued uh, the edging around it. It works nice for small projects. Couple of years, I thought so. Yeah, Carrie used a poster board, um, foam poster board, like if you're going to do projects for school. Um, I just uh, had that foam board, that insulation, because um, we had done some projects around the house, so. Yeah, it's just, um, it's a, it's like binding. I took a two and a half inch strip and then I folded it in half like you do. And then, um, but I, but I just hot glued it, right? So I hot glued it on the back and then folded it over onto the front and hot glued it down on the front so that it looks like that binding.
the Siberian wind. It's a name I uh, just learned this weekend. From our favorite guy who sews. Shh, don't tell other people if there's guys who sew. Kind of bored and you put it on, on clothes racks. Hmm. Okay, I don't know if I mentioned this, but these uh, corners, these solid corners are three and a half inches of your background. So if you are doing the four triangles at a time method, you have to cut those separately because they're only three and a half inches. And I am using six inch squares, but you could use... Mm, Maybe five and three quarters. I, I know that the chart says five and a half, but you have to be so perfect. And um, that just makes me too nervous. Terry, I haven't heard from Teresa. Um, like I said, I had I had been out of state uh, doing my spring break uh, visit with my uh, daughter in Texas, so um, I I had been offline for a little bit. Um, I'm hoping that everything is good for her and Brandon. And uh, she will she will let us know when she uh, is feeling up to it. Should have brought my rotating board over here, but I didn't. Excuse my profile. So when you are making a project with your half square triangles, do you like to do all bazillion of them at one time? Or how do you decide to handle that? Since I'm using four at a time, I like to trim up my four and place them in my uh, configuration as I go.
Um, if I was doing the two at a time method, oops, I forgot to do my dog ears. If I was doing two at a time though, I think I would probably do a whole stack at a time because I would want to uh, chain stitch them. But this way, I don't feel like it's. I have the never-ending pile of squares to trim, so I can just kind of go back and forth at leisure. I'm just curious what you all like to do. Couldn't get that one trimmed. One more. Uh, no. So, Terry, I am using, it should be in my description box. Please tell me if it's not. But I'm using um, the pattern from Pat Sloan. She adapted the Fat Quarters uh, Triangles on a Roll pattern for traditional, still the wrong way, for the traditional piecing and the AccuQuilt acu dies. Um, so I am doing the traditional piecing from Pat Sloan. Uh, I batch so, so I do all of a unit before I move on. Oh, yeah, it just kind of depends, I guess, on what my project wants. That's what Kim said too. Uh, I hate trimming, so I do some and then go back. Yep. Christmas charm packs, and we'll make a big batch at one time. Oh, are you um, are you back to sewing, Kim? I know you had taken some time off. So are you back uh, into sewing now? This would be really pretty in the Christmas colors. I don't know if you know this, but the iron makes things hot. Follow me for new and exciting sewing tips.
All right, so now I can do my inside pinwheel. So now I have all of my units and I'm just going to, I'll chain piece down this and this. So I just fold them over and stack them. You can't see that. I just take it and I fold it over and put it on the stack. So then I know this is the side I'm sewing on. And then I do the same thing over here. Oops. Only need one. Background square there. I had just left my others so that um, when I go to do the second block, I know where those are. So now I have my stack. I I hope I didn't check. I hope I didn't move them. I think I was a good girl. And um, I'll just chain piece these all the way through. Hello, Nancy. Thanks for joining us. Good to see you. Are you by chance sewing our project today? to eat my corner there. Oh. Grandma time is the best time. How old is your grandson, Nancy? Nineteen months. Oh, I 
And so I said to myself, self, do you really want to start your life with not a full bobbin? And I was like, well, of course I want to start a live without my bobbin full. Otherwise, where will I have all kinds of suspense and action? Hello, Confident Quilter. Good to see you. It just really doesn't like that corner. So I'm going to try sewing it from the middle and then work my way back. After I re-thread it for the 653rd time. You know, if I had sewed this all by my little lonesome today, I would have had zero issues. Wait, you were counting? You're supposed to say, oh my gosh, Kay, you're so professional. We didn't even notice. Did I put my bobbin in wrong? Maybe. I don't know. Sometimes I uh, when it seems like everything is just not gelling, I think sometimes it is better to just take it all out, re-thread it from the beginning, and we'll see if that makes it a change. going to say a word about it because I'm not jinxing myself, but it does seem to be going better now.
so I have everybody all sewed together now and completely out of order. So that'll be fun. Um, I think I'm just going to stick with pressing it open on this block and see what that lands me. This quilt is going to be 74 by 74 as written. So when we get to that part, um, I may add, I'm sorry, my hydraulics just keep scooting. Um, when I get to uh, that fi that finishing point, I may add just a small border around the edge. I kind of like mine to float. And um, this looks like Let's play that game of how to hold the paper. This looks like when we get to the finishing part, uh, your binding is going to come right up against your star. And I think I would kind of like it to float. So I will probably do just a very... Maybe two and a half inch border all the way around. And probably just in the background color because I don't, or fabric because, uh, well, because I'm using fat quarters for one thing. So I'm not going to have enough of any one color and I don't want to detract from the different stars. So that's my plan of the moment. Thank you, Carrie. Yeah, thumbs me up. All 10 of us are having a great time. And if we're not, we can just pretend. Yes, usually Teresa is here with us. Um, Teresa's my support quilter. Um, she agreed to do this with me and 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 share uh, her live time on Sundays. Um, I'm hoping that. She is just having a great time and uh, couldn't tear herself away to come sew with us today. Hopefully we'll hear from her this week. I appreciate you guys all coming over.
to hang out with me today. So thank you so very much for doing that. Okay, so now we have to put these back on the board because I have to make sure I didn't put anything backwards when I was sewing. So there's a corner. There's a corner. I think that one's going to be wrong. Uh-oh. So there'll be like a little chevron -y looking one there. And then there should be these two guys pointing down. Oh, don't get too excited, but maybe we did it right. And then this chevron guy will go down here. I don't know why I'm calling him a chevron guy. He's not a chevron. He's a Diagonal guy, I guess. And then these two point up. All right, so we're still on the uh, right track. So um, now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to fold over from the side, stack that center seam, and chain stitch all the way down those. I need a new chair. I have all of my rows together. Um, I'm not going to take them apart and press them. So I have this like string, right? And I'm just going to keep that and rotate it. This way I don't have to rebuild it on the wall again. I, I could, uh, you could cut those all apart, uh, press each individual seam and then come back. But um, I'm just going to keep them together. That way I can just do a really quick sew across. And I just... Match up my little seams as I go. And 
I'll just, since I didn't press them, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna nest them. Oh. As I sink lower and lower. Um, wow, that can be our St. Patrick's drinking game. Everybody take a drink every time Kay readjusts her chair. And so then I have that one. I'll just fold it over the next one. And I'll just go down all those rows that way. And then when I get to that seam, I just have to make sure that I am nesting it in the same direction. I do really love my, my chair. See, it's purple and it's meshy. And um, I do like it most of the time, but it did start doing this weird sinking thing. So I might have to look into that. I have kind of a handy husband. He might be able to fix it for me. And I don't pin. Are any of you pinners? It depends, right? Oh, are you kidding me? No, no, not kidding you, Kay. You have to do it again. I really thought that bobbin was going to make it. You know, when I uh, 
did some, when I did garment sewing, I always pinned But I really, I really avoid pinning it if I, at all possible. I don't like to do it. Exactly. Cause especially when you know you have to get like a sleeve to fit just right. Then you've got to pull out the pins, but for the most part And hems, yeah. I think I like quilting uh, for that reason because I do feel like anyway, the kind of quilts I do There's not much to line up. I mean, they're straight lines, right? Yeah, but see if I'm doing that, I'm probably clipping. I love clips. I think clips were the most amazing invention ever. Because here's the thing. If I use a pin, I'm going to stab myself at some point. So it's really self-preservation. Hello, Irish sale lady. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. We're, we have a poll open about who is hanging out and who is actually joining us in this sew along. Which way are you falling? All right, I'm going to press those final seams. Shorts for work. Oh, okay. 
that's fun. Mary H is hanging out, working on a different project. Oh, well, thank you so much. I'm glad that you could join us. I hope you'll come back. Um, like I said, usually we are on Teresa's channel. And um, our schedule has been the second Sunday of every month. So um, That means that we should be doing our next block in April. Really? That's amazing, Kay. Um, it looks like April 14th. April 14th, we'll come back. And I will show you what we are doing. Did I go out of order? Oops. I thought this was called the Sawtooth Star. But now I feel as though I have been a liar. Hi, Nina. No, my new personal live schedule in addition. Oh, um, uh, you're cute. Um, I'm hoping Teresa will be back with us. So this won't be so crazy and out. Oh, oh okay. It's, oh, all right. Okay. So this is the pinwheel sawtooth star. So I just, I didn't put the pinwheel in there. So next time we're doing uh, the Salem star. I can show you what that looks like. Kind of looks like that. Salem, you know, not a really great vacation place for some of us. Um, so we'll be doing that one. We'll be doing, um, it'll be block six in Pat's, um, on Pat's page on the fat quarter shop. It's part two of their week four because they did it. Um, they did two a week and then Pat broke it down to just one a week. And then Teresa and I decided uh, to be eat, to take it a little bit slower, and we are just doing one block a month. Because like most of you, uh, just change my broom. <laughs> Charge my broom. Okay, thank you for uh, thank you for being on the same page with me, Carrie. Um, so yeah, so where was I going with that? Oh, okay. So Fat Quarter Shop did like two a week. Pat did one a week. We're doing one a month because. We have so many other projects going on. I have 
this mini sampler sew along with Art East that is supposed to be um, a weekly sampler. And I'm about five weeks behind now on that. And then um, some other various projects too. I only really sew on the weekends. Um, by day, I'm just a mild mannered first grade teacher on the weekends. I'm a superstar YouTube creator. So we are going pretty slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Um, oh, I, oh, Carrie, I know you're like, you're right. You're driving. So maybe you can't drop that link. Um, I do have a Facebook page and, um, oh, you're in the, oh, good. Um, so on the Facebooks, if you go to K's, no apostrophes, purple wall. Um, I have a group. Uh, I don't know how to put that in at the moment. But what I was going to say was, um, if you are part of the sew along, or if you have other projects that you want to share, you could join the group and then you could uh, drop a photo in there. That would be really cool. So I can see what you guys are working on. And then um, I'll post the grid of what I've done so far. So you guys can see uh, how the placement um, comes together. if you want. I guess I should have put that in my... When we were setting up the live and I was trying to decide what all information you might care to know, I should have put that in there, but um, I had no idea. All right, so pinwheel, sart saw, toothed star. So that is my first one. Looks pretty good. What do you guys think? From far away, it looks like I know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. So I will have another one. Oh my gosh, I've been here forever. I'm so sorry, guys. I am going to do my second one. And then, like I said, um, I'll post a photo of the blocks and the wall. Oh, um...
Oh, uh, the group is K A Y apostrophe S. So. Share my group, copy the link. Oh, you guys like looking at the bottom of my head. Oh, did you? Yeah, but I think you saved just my Facebook page. I Did you save my actual group? Because my link looks different. Um, Yeah, so if you go to my group, that's where I'm going to post the blocks and um, the wall in progress if you're interested. And um, you can post your, pro your projects too if you are so inclined. Um, I would love to see what you're all working on so that I can get FOMO and think I need to start new projects. That would be amazing. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. I, I really appreciate you giving me your time. I hope that you have a great week. And I will see you next month in April, the second Sunday, which is the 14th. Take care.